Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. We had a pretty nice day here in Menasha. It was sunny out, but it was really cold, like bone chilling cold. The temperature wasn't too horrible. It was like 26 maybe, but it was chilly. I am not gonna lie. <laughs> I see Connie on here, welcome, and Judy's popping in. I'm gonna get my iPad set up here. So, I can see your comments, and there they come. Let me see if I put it this way. Do I? Oh, that's even better. Okay, I'm going to close that up. Yay! Happy March 27th. Nothing special today. It might be some of your birthdays or something like that, though. Hi, Connie. Welcome, Bonnie. Lots of people popping in. We had a busy, oh my gosh, we had such a busy weekend. So for those of you that participated in the virtual spring retreat, we had so much fun. We did live classes and mystery stamping and games. And I had a crew of helpers here. I have the best helpers in the world. Connie was here from Marquette, Michigan. I have Priscilla that flew in from California. My Kathy Miller, of course, was here too, and they rocked it. They put together all the retreat packets, great big boxes. Can you grab that box over there? Boxes full of Stampin' Up! product, 16, 16 make and takes. It was so much fun. We had prizes and live classes and um, there was four different classes with four different cards each for the 16 make and takes. So, holy cow, you guys, it was just so much fun. And these ladies that came in to help me, they killed it. They, like, got all the retreat boxes ready to go. Priscilla is still here. I'm running her to Milwaukee tomorrow to fly home to California. I was so grateful to have her and Connie and Kathy and she put all the mailing labels. Your retreat packets will be in the mail tomorrow if you registered for the retreat. Now, if you didn't register for the retreat, just know that we have some type of a big event that happens every time we get a new catalog. And guess what? We have a new catalog coming. Ah, so excited. I have seen it. As a demonstrator, I am able to view that catalog online early. Stampin' Up! has put them in the mail to all the demonstrators. We get to pre-order early from that catalog, so that's really fun. And if you've ever thought about and you're not getting a discount on your products, when you become a discount shopper on my team, you get to order early out of those catalogs too. It's not just for people that are running businesses like I am. It is for everybody that joins with that starter kit. It is $99. You get free shipping. You get to choose $125 in any product you want. And um, as soon as the pre-order opens, you can pre-order from that new catalog just like I can with your starter kit. You can get new stuff with your starter kit. So... Take that into consideration. It is a fabulous ride to be on my team. You will absolutely love it. We have so much fun. You get to be part of something so much bigger. And if you're a stamper, I don't understand why you wouldn't want to. <laughs> oh my gosh, Debbie Spicer says you have so many people that love you. You are so sweet. And oh, I know, I feel the love. Like, I feel the love every day. I've got some beautiful mail here I'll share with you at the end. But look at this. Look at this, this came in the mail. I'm gonna show this to you right now. This came in the mail and this was from Vicki Parker from Australia. She mailed this little cute kangaroo for Dawson all the way from Australia. Holy cow! And as long as I'm here, I have to show you her card. Look at this. And it's on a wobbler or a wobble, a wobble they call it. How cute is that, you guys? And remember, this is a layout I did a couple weeks ago or so. It's got the little tuck here with that cute little envelope. And then it opens up just like this. Oh my gosh, and she says, to Haley, Jared, and Val, congratulations on your new addition to your family, Dawson Thomas. I wish you well, enjoy all the little things they grow up so fast. Best wishes, Vicki from Australia. And look at that cute little 
cute little kangaroo on the inside and that tucking action here. Yes, and of course, envelope decorated. Love it. Hang on, my kangaroo. My kangaroo. Dawson's kangaroo just fell off my desk, but is that not the sweetest thing? Believe me, I feel the love. You guys are so fun and generous and sweet, and I appreciate all of you. Hi, Luba. Oh my gosh, Molly was just talking about the birthday card you sent her again. She was so thrilled to have that. She has it displayed on her nightstand in the room that we have here for her when she stays overnight. So really sweet. Okay, so I just wanted to thank everybody that participated in the spring retreat. You guys are what makes it so much fun. We had card challenges, um, lots and lots of creative fun. We uploaded galleries. There were three different galleries for a total of 45 card ideas. Um, we had a, a, a swap contest. There was a card swap and also a wow swap. And can I just say, for those of you that were in the retreat, what did you think of that, the swaps? They were both gorgeous. The wow swap was like, whoa, <laughs> it was so cool. Yes, people are so kind. And you know what I found, Debbie, that stampers are the nicest people. They're just generous and thoughtful and sweet and I think that's why we all get along so well together really so um, I wanted to give you a John update I happened to see John this morning as I was making homemade waffles for breakfast and I peeked out the window and he was moving a car seat from one vehicle to the other I'm not sure who that car seat is for he does have grandkids but I haven't seen them in a while so I don't know exactly what's going on there but then later, I saw him and his wife back into the driveway. And I said to Steve, I was like, his wife, his wife is driving. She go, he said, she always drives. And then we talked about that because, you know, that's what we do. And uh, we think that she gets car sick, so she has to drive. You know, people that get car sick, if they drive, they don't get car sick. So I see somebody's asking me about my million dollar stamp set. Yes, it is in the final stages. I have approved it and it will be coming out in the 2023 annual catalog. So watch for that. Don't worry. I will make sure you know all about it. <laughs> I'll be screaming from the rooftops, my stamp set, my stamp set. It is coming out and um, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. Hang on. I keep, look at, I keep catching my sweater. There's a little nick on my desk here. Let me put some tape on that till I can get that sanded off. I got a little sharp edge that's wrecking, wrecking my sweater. I can't have that. So that was my John update, Steve update. Steve has had a rough week. His shoulder is killing him. He's better, he seems better today, but um, he's been having a really hard time with it. He can't sleep, nothing is comfortable. So, and a non-sleeping Steve is a cranky little Steve, I'll tell you that, so. He does have a doctor's appointment. Go get that checked out by the orthopedics. Um, he probably has something torn in there. You guys know that he's like kind of falling apart, right? <laughs> it, that's not funny. It's not funny, but he is falling apart. Um, that's what 30-some years of hard um, physical work will do for you. Yeah. <laughs> Vicki, you're on here. Oh, my gosh. Haley was so excited, and Connie brought gifts for Val and Dawson, and so Haley and Jared came over for breakfast this morning with the kids, and um, Priscilla is still here. I keep pointing over here. Priscilla, come and say hi. Oh, God. Get over here. Um, and Priscilla brought presents for the kids, and oh, and Connie brought presents. Say, this is Priscilla. She was one of my hi, fabulous Annie. helpers. Yay! Um, Priscilla brought me this beautiful laser cut wood Kelly. How cool is that? Now I have to get this hung up in my room, right? So I'm just gonna set it right back here. I don't want it to tip over. It, do, it looks pretty sturdy, like it wouldn't just break. But um, yeah, so she brought that for me from California. And she brought presents for the kids too. Just so sweet. Pe Stampers are the nicest people. Yeah. 
So Brenda wants to know if Steve has had too much golfing lately. You know, he hasn't golfed since we came home from Florida, and that was like the beginning of March. So we don't golf here in the winter. Our golf courses are closed. We had this conversation today, yeah. didn't we? <laughs> As we drove by a golf course, and she said, oh, it's it's all, what did you say? It's all dry because it's all brown. And I said, no, it's not dry. It's um, It's dead because it's winter. We don't golf in the winter here. I just saw somebody say hi, Priscilla, Lori Stansberry. Yay, thank you guys so much. <laughs> so Priscilla has been working for me. Um, when did I pick you up? Thursday. Thursday. I picked her up Thursday. We went to Ikea, got Steve a filing cabinet. He's been like on my butt for a filing cabinet for quite a while. So I got that for him. He got it all put together and the hanging file section doesn't fit the hanging files. So we were like, what the heck? So I went online at, a, at Ikea to look at this unit that I bought. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Like, do I have to order some special ones or something? And no, instead of going, the drawer pulls out like this. Instead of going in there like this, they go in like this. So I'm glad I looked it up because we were like, what? Um, so anyways, we went to Ikea. We went out to the cheese factory for lunch that day. Oh, so delicious. And Priscilla has been here helping me. And she's been doing all kinds of odds and ends. She actually cut the waves class for me yesterday. Connie and Kathy and Priscilla all packed it up. So that's going out in the mail tomorrow. Woohoo! All the retreat packets are out in the mail tomorrow. These big swag boxes, they're headed out in the mail tomorrow. Um, didn't I have another class that just went out to... The sticky kits went out in the mail. If you ordered a sticky kit, that went out in the mail yesterday. These are the sticky kits, you guys. They have all the adhesives in them. You can find this on my website. It's www.astampabove.com. And there is, these are $69. That's how much adhesive stuff is in here. We've got tear and tape, liquid glue, glue dots, a sand eraser, a gum eraser, um, uh, a seal plus, a seal plus refill, uh, three different kinds of dimensionals. You, it's it's packed full of stuff. So you can find the ordering link for the sticky kit on my blog. It comes in different rainbow colors of these nice big pouches. And I have all the product in and I'm getting them out in the mail now. I got all the ones that were ordered out in the mail and now I can send them out as the orders come in. I was waiting for product to get here. So um, just wanted to let you know that. And coming up in April, I will have an online class. Uh, I don't remember what I'm using for that yet. I think Barb, that's the one I do with Barb and Dina. I don't think we've talked about that. We'll probably be talking about that tomorrow. Um, then I have my monthly kit class, and I'm thinking about using the bubble gum machine bundle. What do you guys think of that? I think there is some incredible opportunity for some super fun cards with that. And it has those little balls that you put in shakers in the, there's a little bubble thing for the bubble gum machine. And then you put those little embellishment balls in there. I think it would be really fun to come up with an online class with that. So um, we've been working on that. Also, another thing Priscilla has done for me is we kind of talked about bingo and she kind of put some bundles together and some embellishments so that I will have bingo this month. So I'm excited about that. And hang on, because I have hair in my eye. And I, you know, I know, the struggle's real, right? I don't want to make my hair look stupid, but <laughs> um, it's still there. There, I think I just got it. It was hooked on my eyelash. Sorry. <laughs> Hold the phone while I get the hair out of my eye. Um, and now Priscilla has got the rubbing alcohol out. And what are those little pad things called? Makeup? Makeup dealy whoppers? Cotton squares. And she is cleaning all of my blocks so that they're going to be clear and beautiful and shiny again. All my acrylic blocks, you know, they get glue and stuff all over them start looking kind of icky. So she's just being like, what else do you want me to do? What else do you want me to do? And oh my goodness, I've been keeping her pretty busy. So that's been awesome. Um, so we're going to have an online class. We're going to have a kit class. We're going to have bingo. I want to tell you guys, if you need, <laughs> thanks Wendy. Wendy says you cracked me up. When is bingo? Uh, I think bingo will be, let me change my little calendar here. 
I think bingo will be maybe the 27th of the month. I'm going to get together all my dates and get it posted on my blog um, in the next couple days. So I'm thinking the 27th, just so you know. And it starts at, I think bingo starts at 7 p.m. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, all that information. For, <laughs> Patricia says, I need a Priscilla. You can't have her. No. <laughs> If anybody needs a catalog, like I said, we have a brand new catalog that has been made public to demonstrators. And if anybody needs a catalog, you will automatically get on my catalog list where stamp I have Stampin' Up! send it to you directly. You will automatically get on my list if you have placed at least a $50 order in the last three months. Okay, I run a report and I say everybody who has ordered over $50 during these dates. And then it pulls all those people up and I select them all and I, I, I finalize that order and I send it to Stampin' Up. Now you have until the end of March, March 31st, to get on that list because that's when I'll run my report and finalize my, they call it mailing selector. Then you'll automatically get a catalog. If you have not placed an order with me um, in the last three months, that's $50. You know, it can be several orders, doesn't have to be one, but at least $50 in the last three months. And you're new to Stamping Up or perhaps your demonstrator quit or whatever. If you need a catalog, please contact me and I want you to email me. Don't leave me a message here because I get a thousand messages on here. Don't leave me a message on my Facebook page because that just can get lost so easily. Pop me an email, Kelly, K E L L Y, at a stamp above.com with your address. I'm happy to send out catalogs. And what else? Oh, I've got prizes to give away. This is another thing Priscilla helped with. She weighed all the boxes and wrote the um wrote the the weight on them so I could make up postage labels. So yeah, we got postage labels done and ready to rock. It's so cool. I got my bow jig. Oh, yay! Ardella got her bow jig. Excellent. I do have some more bow jigs, you guys. Uh, let's see. Let me grab one here. These are the bow jigs. I have these. They're $10 each. You guys have seen me use them to make really nice bows. Like, if you struggle with bows, oh, hang on, I gotta get that out of there. The nails go in the end so you can store it flat. If you struggle to make bows, these bow jigs are really sweet. And again, if you want one, they're $10. That includes shipping. Um, you will need to pop me an email and say, I would like a bow jig. And I will invoice you through PayPal because that's my invoicing system. Okay, prizes. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for prizes? There are three ways that you can get a prize from me. The first way is to comment right here. You're watching me, just say hi Kelly, or hi from New York, or wherever, whatever, but you need to leave a comment. You get entered in a drawing to win oh, fabulous prizes. <laughs> I have iridescent rhinestones. These are my favorite new embellishment. I absolutely love these. I've been using them on literally everything. We're gonna use them tonight. And for leaving a comment, on last week's Facebook Live, Jackie Unger from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. You're gonna have these in the mail to you tomorrow. So watch for your beautiful, look at them, look at them sparkle. These are called Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. So if you happen to be shopping in my online store, you can just type the name in, Iridescent, and these will pop right up. So there we go, that's for Jackie. Then, for sharing this video, you um, get entered in a drawing when you share this video and someplace on your device screen right now is a share button. You can click on that and share this. And what that does is it puts it on your timeline. It tells all your friends you're watching me. You never know which one of your friends might be interested in either becoming a stamper or they are a stamper and you didn't even know it. So that really helps me grow my business and I appreciate it. For sharing last week's video, 
Oh, and that's whether you're watching now on Facebook, whether you're watching after we're live on the replay on Facebook or on YouTube later when I upload you, upload this video to YouTube, you can click on share, okay? And I put all those people into a drawing. The Expressions and in Ink Ephemera Kit comes with some sequins and all kinds of really pretty die cuts. This is going out to Sherry Moreau of Shelburne, Vermont. Thank you all for the share. Sherry, this is going to be on its way to you tomorrow. Next up, the third way that you can win fabulous prizes from me is to place an order. And I always, always, always appreciate your orders, you guys. That's what keeps me in business. And I have a pack of the oh so ombre six by six designer series paper this is so delicious and for the record this is going to be a really fun combination this stamp set and this paper is going out to bonnie pleat of surveyville i don't know how to say the name of your town tennessee surveyville tennessee is that right i'm sure i just really killed that but Bonnie, please, this is yours, and it will be in the mail tomorrow. Now, hang tight while I set this over here so I don't lose it in all of the chaos that is about to happen. <laughs> yeah, because things get a little messy here in the National Wisconsin. Okay, so we've got all of our prizes done. Oh, I wanted to let you guys know. So I've had I've had people contacting me late, lately, um, a, a few over the last week or so, asking about what do I offer if they were to join my team. And these people that are contacting me, the two that are contacting me over the last week or so, they're asking about training. So I thought I'd share just a little bit about that with you. If you're looking to start a stamping business, um, I do a training every Wednesday afternoon and it's recorded you can watch it live you can come to the zoom you can ask live questions I'm there live um, or you can watch the replay but each week the training has a little different theme and to, I've gotten this question from two different people in the last week do you teach us how if I were to join your team would you teach me how to add links to my website and absolutely, that is part of the training. We teach you anything that you need to know. You get to ask questions, you get to interact with us. And um, it's a lot of fun because, well, it, I do this training with Barb and Dina. We're kind of fun people, <laughs> if you didn't know that. Um, but it is a lot of fun. But yes, we do. We give you all the tools to be successful, to, um, to, start a stamping business. So I just wanted to let you know that, yes, we talk about links, we talk about editing photos, we talk about taking photos, we talk about making cards, we talk about the Stampin' Up! Um, demonstrator website and how to navigate it and where to find the links that these people are asking for and then how to put them into your website or post them on Facebook. We do all that. So if you're looking for um, a business builder, team leader, that would be me. I'm happy to help. So I just wanted to clarify that in case any of you guys that didn't send me emails might have questions about it. Okay, so um, I wrote myself a note. Oh, I know. <laughs> then I couldn't remember what it actually meant. You guys ever do that? Like you write something down and then you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I've done that a fair amount of times. Anyways. I think we're ready to flip the camera around. I am going to be sharing, let's see, I have a beautiful card that I cased and I'm gonna show you the original and I'm gonna show you a couple different color variations. I think you're gonna love it. Then I have a fun fold. Who doesn't love a fun fold, right? And I'm going to start off tonight, we're gonna to kick off with a technique that is kind of new to me and um, it was actually designed by Priscilla today and it is going to be for my technique club members for their technique for the month of March. I got to turn my calendar around because it's throwing me. I turned it to April. It's still March. So um, I think we're ready to turn this around. Now I also wanted to let you guys know that if you have, if I happen to, hang on, 
I don't, oh, there it is. My, my um, comments weren't on here. If I happen to miss a question that you asked, please feel free to email me or you can keep asking it here until I see it. But just so you know, talking, keeping things straight in my brain, stamping at the same time and monitoring, monitoring comments, it's tricky business. I just want you to know that. And I'm human, so just keep that in mind. But always feel free to email me if I don't answer your question because your questions are important to me, but they scroll through so fast in this tiny little spot that sometimes I miss them. Okay, are we ready to stamp? Who's ready? Who's ready to stamp? Oh, make sure you hit that hit that like button too. You can hit that like button on YouTube later. You can hit, hit it right now. Yeah, Barbara, a new technique, technique to me. Um, hit that like button, that really helps me out too. The algorithms on Facebook love the like button. Okay, we're gonna flip, hang tight. Let me get us set up here and hope I don't delete anything. Oh, I forgot to get this out. We were so busy today making labels and trying to keep everything straight. Uh, let's see what's happening here, there we go. Okay, I just want to make sure my screen is straight because that really bothers me if it isn't. Okay, I think we're good. Yay! All right. <laughs> Everybody's saying you do a great job with all of it. It's It can be trying sometimes, right? But at the end of the day, it's always fun. So I just wanted to show you guys these are our beautiful 2020 to 2022 in colors that are retiring. Oh, I don't even know what I'm gonna do without some of these. I really have loved all of these colors. We're gonna be using the Magenta Madness tonight and the Misty Moonlight. Another one I'm in love with is the Cinnamon Cider and of course the Bumblebee and then the Just Jade. These are gorgeous, gorgeous colors. These are retiring. Our retirement list came out last Wednesday. You can go to my blog right here, just click, Type that in a search, www.astampabove.com. You are going to find this last chance list there. I have three different ways you can download it. This has been edited. As you can see, it prints out big enough for you to actually read it. All the French stuff is gone because we don't buy French stamp sets here, except for my one customer in Florida who is from France. She does buy the French sets, but... Um, it tells you what's on sale. Some of these items that are retiring are up to 50% off and it'll give you the sale price over here. Now, as far as I know, everything I'm using tonight is still available. The only thing that I'm aware of that's a big deal that we've run out of is the um, ink refill for the Misty Moonlight. That's gone already, I think. And Just Jade. And Just Jade. Were we getting more Misty Moonlight in? I thought we that were. Not out yet. That's not out. Not Misty Moonlight. It's the Just Jade is gone. Misty Moonlight is coming in. So Nancy, Nancy emailed me and said, oh my gosh, is it gone? And I, and I did some searching. I'm pretty sure we're going to get another order of Misty Moonlight ink refill in. So, but don't, you know, don't swear me to that because like, I don't have any insider information. I know you guys think that I'm a really big deal with Stampin' Up, but they don't tell me secrets. <laughs> I just want you to know that. <laughs> I'm just a regular person. <laughs> okay. So, I have this three different ways. I have it according to product sorted. I have it by page number so that you can go through your catalog and you can, here's what I do. Well, here's what Priscilla did for me. This was another thing she did. She went through my catalog with the list and marked everything that's retiring. Like the beauty of friendship, the stamp set is not retiring, but the dies are. And she went through and wrote, are by everything that's retiring so that I would know what's going on. And oh my good Lord, I so appreciate that. But you have it by page number, you have it by product, and I think then by alphabet, alphabetically, all the items. So I've got, I think, three different ways you can, you can print off this list, depending on how you use it. So um, I just wanted to make sure you knew about that. Okay, these are retiring in colors. And let me move some of the stuff out of my way right off the bat so we don't lose it in the mess that we are about to create. <laughs> Did you guys see my blog hop on Friday? Totally Techniques blog hop. 
and we did acrylic block stamping. And if you didn't watch it, head over to my blog, you'll find it there, but it is so cool. And each time, each time you do it, it looks different every single time, but this is a really, really cool way to make a nice little background like that. So that's what I've got going on there. I use the Paradise Palms bundle for these particular cards. Very, very cute. There's stamps, there's dies. Um, I love this. And then the other thing that I recommend with this is that you use the shimmery white cardstock. And I don't know if you can really see this, but this has a little bit of shimmer on it. It's a little less absorbent than regular whisper or um, basic white cardstock or very vanilla cardstock, and it just works better for a water technique. So if you don't have any shimmery white cardstock, add that to your order, you won't be disappointed. Okay, Cynthia says she loved my blog hop. Thank you so much. The other thing that I finally got my button gear with was this. This was the card that I made with Sarah Douglas at the home office of Stampin' Up. It is an easel card using the beautiful Daffodil Daydream bundle. And I finally posted that on my blog, as well as my Million Dollar Achievement Tour at the Riverton Home Office. So if you guys missed that, go catch that. It's on my blog. So, so much fun. Loved it. Hi, Claudia Miller. I am so happy to see you on here tonight. I've missed you too. So beautiful, beautiful card with Sarah Douglas. We had so much fun. Okay, here we go. Are we ready for some stamping? We're going to be using the hand penned petals as well as, oh, I forgot to get the paper out. Hang on. Let's find our hand penned paper. These are all of my designer papers that I have and I love to put them on these sheets so that I can show you a little sampling of each one of them. Oh my good Lord, I can't find it. Uh-oh, where is hand pen? Hang on, it might have got stuck down in here someplace. I still have some of these old ones. Isn't this pretty? Yeah, I love it. Um, boom, 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 boom. Some of these are retired. There's the pansy paper. That shouldn't be way back there. I don't know where my hand pen paper is. Can you, um, Priscilla, can you grab the pack of paper for me? I don't know what I did with it. Did you guys see it in here? I didn't see it. I got peaches. I got everything else. I don't know where it is. How could I lose something that important? Okay. We are using Missy Moonlight Ink. We are using the wood, what is this called? Wood grain back or, or um, embossing folder. Thank you. And I'm going to find this because that'll make me crazy that I can't remember the name of that. And here we go. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? Mm. Is it in the mini? Okay, it's in the mini. Hang on. I got that here too. I got all my books here. So I can look halfway like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, it's not. What is this folder called? Wood grain. It is wood grain. I think it's wood grain. Okay. So, hand penned petals, misty moonlight, wood grain. We're going to use some of this beautiful Highland Heather Grow Grain, grain Ribbon, and it's sparkly. Can you? I hope you can see that. It's sparkly. It's really pretty. We're going to do a little embossing with some clear embossing powder and some Versamark. That's the technique part of it. And then let me get my little cheat sheet with all my dimensions up here. Here comes all my bits and pieces. And here we go. So we have got a piece of designer series paper here that is four by five and a quarter. This is the hand penned and it's the, the print with the yellow on the back. We've got our um, Misty Moonlight, five and a half by eight and a half. Um, the timber folder. 
that's what Debbie's saying. It's the timber folder. It might be. Yeah. Timber from the holiday. Okay, Sarah, thank you. Sarah, thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Deborah. Everybody's popping in. You guys are wonderful. Oh, sometimes remembering things is hard. <laughs> we got four by five and a quarter on our basic white. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to add a little decoration to the inside. We're going to be making a thank you card with this. You guys know that I need thank you cards more than anything. I send out a lot of thank you cards. And so that's kind of the sentiment that I go for a lot. But always know that whether it's a thank you card or not, um, or some other kind of card, you can make whatever you want out of these designs, right? Yeah. Okay, let me trim that off just a little bit. Isn't that pretty? Just add so much. Okay. Ooh, I should have gotten my, um, my instruction sheet for this new technique. I forgot that part. My Technique Club members will get the instruction sheet and a little sample of this technique on there. Okay, I have to grab my punch. So I was calling this the bow punch. It's actually called a bow. Hello. <laughs> so the bow punch. And we are going to punch out a couple of this bigger sprig. And I'll be using this on another card we're making tonight, too. So we're going to have a couple of those. And then, oh, I got glue on here. All right, hang on, let me wipe that on my pants. Okay, did you see in my video that I did with Sarah Douglas how she wiped something off and then told us she wiped it on her pants? That's what we do, right? <laughs> we're kind of messy like that. I'm going to grab the Misty Moonlight. We're going to just stamp our little sentiment here. And again, you could stamp anything you want. Make this as long as you need it to be. Let's see if I got that. Oh, I got that really. Oh, it's kind of, I kind of wiggled it. Hang on. Let me try it again. Got that other one so straight. There we go. That looks much better. Okay, we're going to put this away. And now... Uh, oh, by the way, this is, uh, I think this is just jade, isn't it? Uh, it's mint macron, mint macron. And let me measure this for you. Again, you're going to make it however wide you need it, but this is one inch and then you trim it down to the size that you're going to need. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. We've got our ribbon here. Now, this piece of um Blushing Bride is one and three quarters by four. What we're gonna do with this, I'm gonna grab, do you guys know about this small grid paper? This is a whole pack of grid paper and it's really nice to keep on your desk to keep things kind of clean, right? So you're not stamping. I don't wanna get um, Versamark all over my, my piercing mat. By the way, this is a pierce mat and I just cover it with printer weight paper, tape it on with scotch tape, and this is what I stamp on. So I'm gonna put my little piece of grid, this is called small grid paper, it is in my online store. I'm gonna put this down here, we're gonna grab our Versamark ink, and we are going to ink up this entire layer. I think this one is a little bit dry, isn't it? Hang on, I'm gonna grab a different ink pad. Huh? Is it? Oh, I put it back. Okay, sorry, you guys. Sorry for the delay. I'll have to ink this one up a little bit. That one's a little dry. This one is a little juicier. Okay, so we're going to put Versamark ink all over this Blushing Bride layer. Did I tell you how big this was? Yeah, I did. One and three quarters by four. Then we're going to grab clear embossing powder. Now, our embossing powders come in a three pack. You get the basics and you can get the metallics. This is part of the, is this part of the basics? Part of the basics. It is part of the basics. Okay. And it's nice that they come in three, you get three of them in a pack. I mean, three different colors. It's really nice. Okay. I just put <clears throat> embossing powder, clear embossing powder all over that. Now make sure you close your container up and that you've closed your ink pad before you do the powder because, oh, good Lord, that's a nightmare. 
And of course you wanna close it before you bring out a heat tool because <laughs> we all know what can happen there. I'm gonna just hold this with my take your pick tool and we're gonna heat set this whole entire thing. Ah, hi Pam, I'm so happy you're back. Pam says so she's missed us all. <laughs> Thank you for the share. I see Gianna just shared. We've got Judy here from Edgerton, Wisconsin. Hi, Judy. I gotta stop looking at the comments and pay attention to what I'm doing before I wreck this. <laughs> now you can tell that this is done as soon as it's not like, um, as soon as it gets shiny. Okay, let me see what we got here. I like to tip it in the light and I can see a spot right here that is still dull. Let me see if I can heat that or maybe I missed it with the embossing powder. Nope, it was not heat set all the way. Oh, this is too. There we go. That's exactly what was going on there. So now this whole thing is really cool looking, right? What we're gonna do with this is we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it in this embossing folder. And the line that Stampin' Up! puts along their logo down here is the perfect place to put the edge of your layer so that you can get it straight. Now, when you run this through, this is a 3D embossing folder. And what that means is it's really thick. So on your die cutting machine, you are going to just use the base platform, put your folder down with your paper in it, and then you wanna use the specialty plate. I'm gonna run this through, hang tight. And here comes the magic. Are you ready for this? Look at how cool this is. I hope you can see this in the light. Is that, I'm waiting, I'm waiting on my iPad to come up here so I can see. Isn't that cool? It almost looks like glass and it's got that neat wood grain in it. This is really, really cool. What is this called? Double embossing, Double embossing technique. And Priscilla was telling me about it on our way back from lunch today. And I'm like, oh, we need to do that tonight. So this is what she whipped up. So let me finish this card off. The technique is the big wow here. This is a very easy card, quick and easy to make. And I'm just going yeah, to... Like, oh, <laughs> Priscilla's volume just turned on. Okay, so the other thing that I'm doing here, you guys, is I'm using this grid paper. I've put the edge of my designer paper down here, and now I'm using the grid paper to make sure that I am getting this layer on here straight. So that's another good use of the grid paper. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Okay, I need dimensionals, and I have a pile of things here someplace that I've covered up with all the goodies. Here we go. I got all my dimensionals out here. I am going to grab, ah, oh, this is one of those. Can you grab me another pack of these? Just the regular size dimensionals, they're in, oh, you have some over there? They're in that bottom drawer on the right, yep. She's learning where everything is in my office, it's amazing. <laughs> She's doing really well. <clears throat> I wish she didn't have to go back to California, right? Okay, I'm gonna put mini glue dots on the back of my little layer here. Thank you very much. And this is where I'm gonna stick my ribbon. So I'm gonna take a piece of ribbon that's a little bit longer than this. It's already got an angle cut on one end. So I'm just going to do that on the other end, just like that. And let me get this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to take this and put it right on my ribbon, okay? Just like that. Now we're gonna add dimensionals to the back here. And here they are. 
Here we go. Here's a dimensional. There's a dimensional. Everywhere is a dimensional. Use your take your pick tool to pop those off. That works best for me. And then we're going to take these little sprigs. Hang on. I'm getting ahead of myself here. And we're going to put these in above and below our sentiment. So I think I'm just going to go like this. Yep, that looks really good. I think I'm going to trim this one just a little bit so that I don't have to have it sticking out there so far. And now I'm going to grab another. You could use a piece of, or um, a, a little spot of glue. I'm just going to grab a mini glue dot as long as I have them out here. Those work great. And they're very sticky. I just put one on one of the leaves. Or oh, if I can get it off the paper. Come on, you little bugger. There we go. <laughs> do you guys ever talk to your products? <laughs> That's something I do frequently. <laughs> Not going to lie. Okay, and here comes our thanks. Oh, we're just going to put that right in here. Here comes our card. And do this. Now, the colors that we used on the front of this card are pulled right from the designer paper. Look at how pretty that is, right? Let me grab some embellishments. Because I told you guys that I can't stop using these iridescent rhinestones, right? Yeah, I can't. I'm not, I am not lying. Here we go. I'm just going to put some of these in here. Oops. Right there. How about one of these right there? Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Double embossing, looks like glass. It's pretty cool. Now, who has it running through their head right now? Oh my gosh, what embossing folder? What are some other embossing folders that you would do this with, right? I think the text, the tasteful, is it called tasteful textiles? Yeah. That would be really cool. I think that, oh, I just, yeah, the sky's the limit with that. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this technique. And it's so, like, fancy, right? So fancy. So with my Technique Club, my Technique members get this card. And then they get a little quarter sheet of cardstock that has the instructions written how to do the technique. And then a little piece of the technique on that instruction card. So after a while, what you end up accumulating... Excuse me. There's a whole bunch of these instruction cards with the technique on them. Like these are, I have them for years and years. I've been, this is a spinner card. So you go, it's like, oh yeah, that's how you do that, right? Here's a basket weave card. Very cool. But here's just all techniques on coloring ribbon. And here's, remember when we had brush show? That was fun. Here's another one, double time stamping. Full frame technique. There's just tons and tons of different techniques. Now, how do you become a member of my technique club and what's involved? I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to keep working on this. I've got a two and a half by six inch piece of the designer paper, and I'm going to decorate my envelope flap with some glue. And while I'm cutting it out, I can tell you that to join my technique club, you have to put in a minimum... I think it's a $25 order every month. All the details are on my on my blog. In the right-hand column, you're, you'll find a, a little graphic for Online Technique Club. Click on that, you'll get all the details. But you place that minimum order. You can go over that, but it has to be that minimum. Using the monthly host code, you do that once a month for six months, you'll get the card, okay, the card, You'll get the instruction sheet each month. And at the end of six months, you get a $30 shopping spree from me. So you get a $30 per credit towards an order. So it's a pretty good deal. What do you guys think? Isn't that, isn't that just so pretty? Yeah. Nice job, Priscilla. Yeah, she gets all the credit for this. When she was talking to me about it, I'm like, oh, I like that idea. Let's do that. So, anybody interested in joining that Technique Club, let me know. Um, you have to place your order be between the 1st and the 25th of the month to get that month's cards, Technique cards. And they get mailed out to you 
after the first of the next month, okay? Because I have to have time to check all my reports and do all the things to get everybody situated for the club. Okay, hang on. I gotta find my bin here. I gotta put some of this. Oh, I wanted to show this to you too. This is the brick and mortar. And Priscilla did this technique. She's like, here it is. This is the technique. And I'm like, oh my gosh, let's do that. So there's the brick and mortar with the double embossing technique on it. And here is that timber embossing folder with that technique. Which one do you guys like better? I, I love this, but this, this is just so different with the wood looking like glass or, or it looks like you've put a really shiny varnish on it, right? That could be the other thing too. So yeah, very, very cool. Okay. I'm going to get my next project out here. So again, this was just the hand penned goes with this paper. So, and there's a whole set of dies. This is a whole suite. Like, uh, I don't know if it's, is it still bundled in this catalog? Yeah, it's okay. Too. There's a whole suite of products in the annual catalog, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. We're going to leave that punch here because we're going to use that again. And I think next we are going to do some waves. We're going to do a little wave stuff. So let me move this out of the way. I'll put this over here. Get my new measurements up here for this card. Now, this next card, I, you know, as I was thinking about what we were going to do tonight, I just wanted to say that I'm so very grateful for my team members that helped me with these ideas, right? We had an incredibly busy weekend with the retreat. And so pulling together a class after I just came off two days of um, stamping retreat might have been a little tricky. But because I have such a fabulous team and I do swapping with them and they make amazing projects... I was able to pull from their talent for, uh, let's see, all of these cards. All of these cards we're making tonight, I pulled from their talent. And I like to do that. I like that option when I'm in a pinch. Now, every month my team does a team swap. And oh my gosh, you guys, the cards are amazing. Anybody can participate, but it's so much fun. Anybody on my team. And this is where I get a lot of these fabulous ideas. So... We are going to be using the Waves of Inspiration. This is a promotion that is going through May 2nd. So we have a stamp set. We have an entire set of dies. We have um, Rhinestone Basic Wave Jewels. These are gorgeous. We also have some foil paper and designer series paper. This whole like collection is so beautiful. The stamp set and the dies are going to be carrying over to our new annual catalog. This, this, and this will not. This is exclusive to this time frame, May 2nd. So Waves of the Ocean is the name of the suite. If you type that in, in the search bar in my online store, this whole thing will come up. You can order it in one click and the entire Collection is $79.25, or you can order each of these individually. Okay, so this next card that I am going to be sharing with you, hang on, got to get all my bits and pieces out here. This is made by my team member, Jay Shante, and Jay is an incredible stamper. She makes just like everything that comes out of Jay's house is beautiful. <laughs> it just is. This is Coastal Cabana. This is five and a half by eight and a half. That's going to be our card base. And it's a beautiful color to use with the waves of the ocean. Here, I like to do this on my hard table so I get a good crisp mark there. Then we are going to, uh, okay, I think this is just a scrap. Yep, okay. And we've got a piece of Knight of Navy here. By the way, you guys, all of these dimensions can be found on my blog. Give me some time to get this on there because I make all these projects and then I have to photo them and edit them and do all the things. 
I get this on before I go to bed tonight, right here on my blog, all the dimensions. There will be free downloads. So you can click, download an entire project sheet that has photos, ingredients, dimensions, and instructions on it that you can save and keep or save to your computer or print it out or whatever you want to do. Night of Navy, four by four and seven eighths. And then we have a white, basic white layer. This is three and three quarters by four and five eighths. And I am missing, did anybody see my designer series paper? Let me look in here. Hang on, I'm missing a piece. Yep, here it is. It got stuck with the rest of it. We're gonna use just a slice of this beautiful waves paper. And this is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then I've got a scrap here and a scrap of Coastal Cabana. That's what my, my scrap is over here, is Coastal Cabana and also a scrap of basic white. So I'm gonna grab my paper trimmer because this is a fun fold. We have a, just a tiny bit of scoring to do. So once I've folded my card in half, I also need to score it at one and a quarter. So we're gonna score that at one and a quarter. Oh, I'm sorry, no, that's wrong. We scored it, we folded it in half at four and a quarter. Now we're going to score it at seven. So I'm sorry, four and a quarter is the center and then seven. So I gotta move the cutting blade out of there and score. Okay, so we have a score right here. And this is what our card is gonna look like. Scored at four and a quarter and seven. Okay, I'm gonna burnish that edge good with my bone folder because I want that to lay nicely. Then we're going to do our stamping and then we'll put our card together. So uh, let's see. Let's grab our dies. We are going to take our dies and we are going to die cut. There's two labels in here, you guys. Here's a label and here's a label. And these match up with the sentiments that are in this particular bundle. Here's, here's an extra one that I had done. Isn't that pretty? I, I love labels. And I love it when they come as part of the bundle. Oh, and we're going to be using the um, that guy, the Pelican dude. Okay, so we're going to just die cut this label out of our Coastal Cabana scrap. And here that is. I'm gonna grab my Knight of Navy ink and we're gonna stamp happy birthday. This is gonna be a birthday card. And I think I'm gonna make this one, keep it for my brother because he's a big fisherman and this is kind of, you know, fishy, <laughs> kind of. Okay, that turned out pretty darn good. Okay, then on this big white layer, on this white layer that goes inside our card, I'm going to stamp the ocean. So I'm gonna take that Knight of Navy ink. This is kind of a cool technique we're gonna do on here too. Knight of Navy ink on here. I'm gonna stamp the ocean along the bottom of this layer. Give it good pressure, that's a big stamp. Whoops. There we go, ooh, that turned out great. And we're gonna do our words right away. You're so totally awesome. Again, Knight of Navy ink. Gonna put that right over there. That turned out great. We've got some birds, some seagulls. You wanna use a very light hand with these because if you squish them into your ink pad, this is just a very tiny little stamp, you'll get edges, right? So be very light-handed with the um, delicate stamps. Okay. I'm gonna set this over here while we stamp our pelican. And here comes this guy. We're gonna use soft suede ink, which is oh, right here. Did you see how I conjured that up? <laughs> like magic. And we're gonna do that. Okay, I got a little bit of edge there. Don't worry about that, it doesn't matter. Cause we're gonna die cut it. So we're gonna die cut this. Let me put this away too. We're gonna die cut this 
And when I do that, here we go. We have our Pelican. And now we're gonna do a little technique here. Coastal Cabana. I'm gonna grab just a clear block and I'm gonna put some ink on it. Then we're gonna grab our Wink of Stella. This is a really cool technique. I'm gonna squeeze some winky wink down in there. Uh oh, is this one empty? Nope, I see it, it's coming. Okay, and we're going to color our wave. Now, when you do this with Wink of Stella, you're gonna see some of that blue ink is going to bleed and blend, and that makes this so much prettier because it's like kind of a marble, well, marble may not be the right word, but it, it gives you different colors in here. And you're just gonna color, color, color your wave. You see how that blue, that navy blue is bleeding into the coastal? So pretty. And then your wave is gonna be all sparkly too, so that's fun. Get a little bit more coastal in here. Yep, there we go. This is a really, really pretty technique. Now, if you need some more ink on here, I'm gonna take this and clean it because it's got Wink of Stella sparkles on there. Clean it, you can see the sparkles now in my chamois. And, ooh, ooh. We'll just ink this up again. Now we have a whole new thing of ink. Here we go. What do you guys think of this? Isn't this pretty? And here we go. We're done. Oh, I got a little bit down here. Hang on. I hope you can see the sparkles in that. It is just incredibly beautiful, right? Now, you can color with Wink of Stella in any color of ink. I like using it this way. It doesn't work that good if you like try to get ink off your ink pad like this. I don't know why. But to get the color out now, you're gonna do just like you would with a water painter or a blender pen. You're just gonna wipe it off. It's all clean. It doesn't have any more. Coastal Cabana in it. Whoops, let's find our lid. And you're ready to go. But it will, it, it does tend to make your ink bleed just a little bit, but I think this just adds to that wave as so cool. Okay, let's make our fun fold. Get these closed up. Ooh, what am I gonna do with my envelope? Do I have an envelope? I don't think I do. Let's get an envelope out. And I think with this envelope, I am going to do my pelican with my soft suede. Let's clean this up before I have a disaster. That's clean now. You can wash it underwater. I'm gonna clean my pelican stamp because I really pushed it in the ink too hard and I got a lot of edges on it. I'm gonna do that on the front of my envelope, and that's very masculine, right? So, and my brother, he thinks he's pretty masculine too. <laughs> I wish he was watching this because he'd get a big kick out of that. Okay, here we go. The last thing we're gonna do is who has these stripes and, well, it's not the last thing, stripes and splatters embossing folders. This is the splattery one. Okay, very cool. These are our minis. These go through our mini stamp and cut machine. They also go through the big one. Anything that goes through the mini goes through the big one. And this is the stripe. So we've got stripes, whoops, stripes and splatters. These come together. When you buy one, you get both. We're gonna use the splatters and we're gonna use that on a piece of foil. And our foil is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And this is the dark blue foil that is part of the waves of the ocean collection. Okay, now, where'd all our pieces go? Right here. We're ready to assemble this puppy. We're going to take this and put it right on here. So I'm going to grab my liquid glue. And isn't that, isn't that cool? 
it looks like water droplets. It can look like paint splatters, but here it looks like wave water droplets. This wave set reminds me when we were in Hawaii. My daughter, I don't remember how old she was. Uh, I think she was 20, uh, 21, I think. When we went to Hawaii, it was a Stampin' Up! incentive trip. You're gonna put this piece of designer paper, and this is one and a quarter by five and a quarter, same as the foil. You're gonna put it right down here. And this is gonna cover it up. So I think what I wanna do is grab a little tear and tape because I want something. Oh, I don't know where my tear and tape is. I'll grab my Seal Plus. I've got that right here. Um, we went to Oahu and Haley learned how to surf on Waikiki Beach. And so it was really cool. So this reminds me of that day. Um, you know, she took a surf lesson because she didn't know what she was doing. And it was just the funnest, coolest thing. She had so much fun doing it. So, yeah. Okay, now I am going to, oh, I don't know if I want to use glue. I think I'm going to use glue on these edges because I want it to be very, very thin. So see how I can put just a nice little thin strip on the edges? We're making a pocket card. And we'll just hold that down. Isn't this so pretty? Like it's already really, really pretty. So anyways, my daughter learned how to surf on Waikiki Beach, which I thought was pretty darn cool. And we're gonna take this and we are going to grab our wave, this layer. This is gonna be the insert that goes inside our card. Okay, this is our pocket. Now, before we put this together, <clears throat> we have just a couple other things to do. Take this and add some dimensionals. So here's one, here's two, and I'm gonna grab a mini and put that right up there on my stork guy. I think I'm gonna put one on his head too. Let's see if that'll fit on there without sticking out. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, no, don't do it on his head. Oh my gosh, get it off of there. It'll interfere with your card. Hang on, somebody's calling me. Oh, it's Haley. Huh. Um, you guys hang tight. Hello? Hi. Hi, I'm live right now. Oh, all right. Never mind. Okay, bye, love you. Bye. Love <laughs> That's so unusual for her not to know that. <laughs> that it kind of like, you guys, it's like, Sorry that I answered the phone while I'm live, but um, it's very unusual that she's not watching me. So then it made me worry that something was wrong, you know? So yeah, like, oh my gosh, why would she be calling me right now? Okay, I am going to, I'm gonna take this dimensional off of there too. I'm gonna put it down just a little bit further because I don't want it to interfere with my pocket. So no dimensional on pretty much the whole bird. But we're gonna do this now. We're gonna put this right over here. Then we're going to grab our happy birthday. And I got the, um, this is the Baker's Twine Essential Pack. You get five different colors of Baker's Twine in here. And I'm going to use the gray. This is like gray granite. And I'm just going to take and I'm gonna cut a small piece here and I've got it folded over, and we're just going to insert it through the little label, and then we're gonna pull it back through itself. Now, if I can get a hold of it. Yeah, this is, this is probably the hardest part of the whole card, and, and, and it's pretty silly <laughs> to be hard like that. Okay, and then we're gonna do this other one. Same thing. Take a piece, fold it over. Make sure you leave it long enough so they can actually put it back through itself because if you cut it too short, you're gonna struggle and then you're gonna get frustrated and then you're gonna get mad and then you're gonna throw the whole thing away and you're gonna have to cut another piece. So how do I know that? <laughs> yeah, been there, done that. Okay, then I'm gonna grab some mini dimensionals. How many, who has this Waves of the Ocean? 
collection. Who has the waves of the ocean? This is like, ugh, I've been having so much fun with this, you guys. I can't even tell you. Okay, I got all my dimensionals off. Now I'm going to bring this in and put it right in here. And then before I put it together and show you the whole final thing that is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for the congrats on the baby. Um, I am going to take a big Coastal Cabana. Whoops. And we're going to take this piece now and we're going to put it right here. And then we're going to take a medium. And then we're going to take a little one. Oh my gosh. Now remember, I get no credit for this. Look at how pretty that is. What do you guys think? Diana says she's intimidated by it. Diana, you get that out and use it. It is so much fun. You will fall in love with it. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Thank you, Pam. Woohoo. Yeah, this is just a pocket card. This was made by, like I said, my team, men team member, Jay Shante. And absolutely beautiful. I love this. I love this whole suite. So we've got our card. We've stamped on our envelope a little bit here. Let me put these away. We used the stripes and splatters embossing folder right here, right? And don't forget, get some extras of these because you're going to fall in love with all these beautiful blues and green tones. They're just so, so pretty. I love them. All right, you guys, let me put this off to the side because we have another fantastic, and I mean fantastic, card to share. Ooh, I got my die out here. Let me put that away, too. And here we go. And I got it spread all over as I was digging for that Versamark ink pad. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Who has the artfully layered bundle? Like I was, <clears throat> this was not on the top of my list, but I have to tell you guys, once I saw what everybody was doing with it, I had, I just, I had to get it. I just had to. And you know, I know that I do that for you, to you guys too. Like I know that I do, but it's well worth it. Like this is a beautiful, beautiful stamp set. It's a the beautiful bundle. We're gonna be using the gorgeous Magenta Madness. I've got three different colors in this particular card to share with you. Hang on, let me put my, I gotta keep all my stuff in order here so I can put it on my blog later. And we're gonna be using a couple other dies besides just what comes in here. So we got a little bit of embossing to do again. And I'm going to talk about those. I've got the black glitter ribbon here and a wink of Stella. What are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my strawberry lemonade and it is delightful. Priscilla laughed at me because I make up a whole pitcher at a time. <laughs> it's like, well, I am efficient, right? I may not be real organized, but I am pretty efficient. This is these gorgeous dies. This is the Tropical Layers dies. Oh, so, so pretty. And then we've got the Artfully Layered stamp set. Now, I am going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, I'm going to be using the Magenta Madness. Let me get out all my bits and pieces here. And here comes all the goodies. I've got a basic white envelope. I'm going to move these over now. I've got my Magenta <clears throat> Madness card base. It's five and a half by eight and a half. I've got white, basic white, four by five and a quarter. Ooh, look at all the people. We got Coca-Cola, sparkling water, water, strawberry ginger sparkling water. That sounds delightful. We've got a bunch of scraps. So this... Have you guys gotten the Mother of Pearl designer paper? Well, this is actually kind of cardstock. This 
is in, it's in my store. It's called Mother of Pearl. It is absolutely beautiful. This is the first time I've pulled it out and used it. I'm not going to lie. Gorgeous. I've got Magenta Madness scraps. I've got Basic Black scraps. And then I've also got some of our, I'm going to bring in, hang on. I'm going to bring in this vellum. This is the vellum layering designs. It is absolutely beautiful. We used it for our retreat this weekend, so I had a lot of fun designing some exclusive cards for that. But it's got white, whoops, let's do the, oh, that's the right side, white print. It's got this white print. And then it's got like a map looking white print. Is this backwards? No, this is the right side. Okay. And then it's got black in each one of these too. So we've got black in all of these. It is just the coolest paper. And at first I didn't know what to do with it. So I wasn't using it, but then we included it. Everybody got a half a pack of this in the retreat and we started using it. And now it's like a million ideas come to me. So I've been having a lot of fun with it. The other thing we're going to use for this particular card is the um, Supple's Shimmer Paper. That comes with this kind of white, bluish, iridescent, and the pink. You get two. You get a 12 by 12 sheet of each. And I think we're ready to make our card. So I'm going to grab. Oh, I'm going to grab the dies here. And I'm going to grab this edge die. Now, this piece of that vellum layering design is three by five and a quarter. And I'm going to put this right down the edge, about right here. I'm kind of taking a little bit off of that, okay? And when we die cut that, we're going to end up with this and this. And I would definitely, <clears throat> we're not going to use this piece. I would definitely keep it though. I'm gonna put it in my package here with my dies because I might I might use that on something else. It's pretty cool. Okay, then we're gonna take our magenta madness, this piece right here, and I bring in an element from the rainbow, the brilliant rainbow dies. Now this is just a really fun bundle but I'm gonna use this element and I'm going to die cut that on the Magenta Madness, okay? Once we do that, we have this. Isn't that fun? Yeah. This card, by the way, is um, was designed by my team, men team member, Wendy Sue Winter. She makes some really beautiful cards too, so I am happy to be sharing this with you. Let me put this back. Then we're going to take this, this supple paper. This is the supple shimmer paper. And we are going to die cut two of these, two of these images. This is this die right here. You want two of those out of the glitter paper and you want one of this one. And I've already done that here. Okay. So we've got those. And here's just a little piece. You need a piece. You don't need another whole one of this, just kind of a little chunk. So we've got that done. Let me get these out of the way. This card is like, this card uses a lot of things, but wait until you see it. It is incredibly beautiful. This stamp set, by the way, has all of these images in it. There's dies to cut this out, this out, this out. Um, you can see... There's a die that will cut this out without the stamp, and then there's an outline. There's an outline for this one. You've got a die, let me get this out of the way, right here that cuts out all of these little leaves. Just a lot of fun in here. There's, this is a really good set of dies. Then, who has the stitched so sweetly? I know Wendy's on here and she goes, wow, two cards in one day. I also used one of Wendy's beautiful cards for my live class for the retreat. So Wendy, you're so talented. I tell you this all the time. This is the stitch so sweetly dies. 
and I am going to pull out this little rectangle. It's a stitched rectangle, and I absolutely love it. We are going to be doing a little embossing and then die cutting. So let me share that with you. Uh, Versamark ink. Where did I go with that? Here it is. We're going to use Versamark ink. Last time the card we made with embossing was clear. This is white embossing powder. So I am going to stamp the Hey There right in the middle of this layer. And then we're going to, what are we going to do? We're going to close up that ink pad. You can see I have spilled embossing powder in here because I am naughty. And I don't do what I'm supposed to do. So make sure you close that up. Hey there. I like this a lot. I love the fonts in this set. You guys know that I like kind of the funky fonts. And this stamp set has, you know, like this font with that font. And I love that. I just think it's so unique looking. Yeah, Blaine or Barb is sad that the Stitch So Sweetly dies are retiring. I know, but if you have them, you're good, right? If you don't have the Stitch So Sweetly, please get them. These are amazing. I use them all the time. And you can see, like, it's kind of tattered. And, you know, this this looks very used. It's a good, good one to get. I'm going to heat set this. Linda said, too. Sorry, you guys. As demonstrators, we won't be using them after they retire to make projects. But if you have them, you can continue to use them forever. There we go. Here's our hey there. And then I'm going to die cut this to get a rectangle. And here we go. I always love that white embossed on black because it really does have such a pop, right? Okay, I'm thinking we're ready. I think, oh, we need to punch a few things. So remember that punch that I used on our technique card, we're gonna do, we're gonna punch out of this mother of pearl designer paper. So we're gonna do that. So we have these two little sprigs. Let me make sure I got them right side up, okay. We're gonna do some black. So we're gonna punch this out, just like that. And uh, we're gonna do, some magenta madness. Okay. Now, with these cardstock pieces that we did, let me move this out of the way. These cardstock pieces that we did, I am going to add a little wink of Stella. Now, this card takes a little bit of doing, but you hang tight because it is so worth it. So, we're just going to color. Wink of Stella on the black, on the magenta. And I love the way um, Wendy Sue, when she designs a card, there's like no detail that's left unattended to. And this card would have been pretty without the Wink of Stella, but I can tell you that putting the Wink of Stella on these little elements is breathtakingly beautiful. It's just really, really gorgeous. Okay, so we have all of those done. Uh, we've got a little bit of this black ribbon, and we're going to take this and fold it like this and cut it just like that. So we're going to be doing this. So let me grab my mini glue dots now. And I thought about this. I made, I made a couple of these in different colors I'm going to share with you. But I thought about this. How would this be easiest to get, to put together for you so that you're not falling asleep on me? Because there's a lot of little steps here. So I just decided that using glue dots was going to be the most efficient way for me to do this. So I'm going to just stick each one of these elements to a glue dot. And then hopefully we can pop them all right off this paper and use them. All right, here we go. Oh, we need we need some, we'll put some glue dots on here too. Here's one right here, 
just put that right there. And trust me, this is the quickest way to put all the to add all these elements to your card because I didn't do this on the first card that I made, but I did it on the second one. It was so much easier. Okay, I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna set this down. Um, we're gonna take this little rainbow deal and where'd my glue go? Right here. We're going to, oh, I just stuck glue all the way over here. Don't do that. I'm gonna fix it in a second because I'm gonna put a dimensional on it, okay? Right. Um, here's our black dimensionals. Are you guys still awake? Oh, Linda said adhesive sheets. Linda, you're brilliant. I never think to use those. I'm not even kidding. I need to get them over here on my desk because they're over in a drawer and, uh, you know, out of sight, out of mind. That's the way that goes. Okay, so we've got our label ready. My fancy black dimensionals. Oops, there we go. Okay, and where's my card? Right here. Oh, okay, so let's put, let's put this on our card. I'm going to use my silicone sheet, a little bit of glue, and a sponge dauber. And we're gonna add some glue. I'm gonna make sure that I got the right side up here. Get your magnifying glass out so you can read and make sure your words are right side up. No, I'm kidding, but it's not a bad idea. <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay, I just added some glue. We're gonna put this right over here on our card front. And again, this is that fabulous vellum layering designs. Isn't that cool? And now we're gonna start adding all of these elements. So this one is gonna go oh, right up here. Okay, one mini glue dot holding it in place. Um, this one is gonna go right over here. There we go. Now we're going to take all of these. Let me move this, let me move this. It's all about assembly now, folks. Here comes this one. Oh, we're gonna not put that one in first. Uh, yeah, we are. We're gonna put that one in right about here. And then we're going to add this one and this one. This is that mother of pearl. Oops, hang on. There we go. I'm gonna do that and this. Can you see what's happening here? It's like, whoa, that's a lot of stuff happening. Then we're gonna bring this in. I'm gonna trim this off just a little bit. There we go. We're gonna do a little bit of that right there. And now we've just got these two little sprigs and we're gonna put them down here. And right down here. Oh, don't forget this guy. Oh, I should put him under the white. Let's see if I can get him under the white. Yep, I can. There's that beautiful ribbon sticking out there with the mini glue dot. Here comes this. And we're just gonna put this right on the front. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then we're gonna grab some of my favorite embellishments. And we are going to add those to our card front. We're gonna do one right here and one right here. And how about a little one right here? Got all of those on there. We have an inside. So let's do something with that. What do you guys think? Is that like crazy cool? Yeah. And it's, it just makes me, it's so funny because this stamp set does not look like it's gonna make something like that, right? Like, whoa. But that's Wendy Sue. And we did add a couple elements that aren't in this 
bundle, but oh, totally worth it. Okay, where'd my envelope go? Right here. So we're gonna take our inside of our card and our envelope with that magenta ink. Oh, I thought I stuck my finger in it. I did not. And we are going to stamp this beautiful leaf image that you know goes along with everything on the front. Make sure we have this inked up good. Looks beautiful. And we are going to put this right here. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Oh, thank goodness that's the back. Look how beautiful that is. I have a little something on there. Let me wipe that on my pants. Okay, then we're gonna do this other one. I should say, we're gonna do this again on our envelope. Oh, and then I've got another little thing to do with the envelope. Let me grab a Memento black ink pad because we have Hey There on our card, right? Or yeah, Hey There. And now I wanna do Sending All the Hugs and I wanna put this right on the front of my card. Is that not cool? I think that's pretty neat. Okay. Hang on. Now, I've got some other colors to show you, and I'm so excited about that. Wendy Sue, I hope you love these because you just, um, it, it just, I couldn't stop. It's like, oh, Priscilla was sitting here, and I'm like, oh, I want to make more colors, and what color should I use? So we decided on Mango Melody. I've been kind of on a Mango Melody kick lately with things. So, oh, look, I forgot this one. Hang on, we gotta tuck that in there someplace. I didn't realize that was still on there. All right, let's get that right in here. Ready? Mm, let's see if I can stick it right in there. Yep, I can, look at that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's the little things that make me happy, you guys. Here is Wendy's original card, and I made an envelope for it. Isn't this just beautiful? Yeah, I love this. This was Wendy's original card, and here comes a Mango Melody. What do you think of this one, you guys? Which one is your favorite? We've got Bermuda, Mango, and Magenta Madness. And I love doing a rainbow of cards. I think they're so cool, right? Which one do you like best? I can't decide. I've been on a mango kick, but I, I'm always, I always love Bermuda Bay, always. All right, don't forget, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. That is going to be changing probably sometime this week, but you can always find it in the right-hand column on my blog or in my blog post, you're gonna look for host code, and that's gonna be the current one that I'm using. This is my blog. If you head over there, you are going to find all of the information, downloadable, free downloads, downloadable PDFs for the projects that I've made tonight. We've got the Waves of the Ocean oh, pocket card designed by Jay Shante on my team. This is Wendy Sue Winter. She is on my team. And then we have this beautiful technique, the double embossing technique designed by Priscilla Satiawan. Satiawan. Did I say it? Satiawan. Yay, I said it right. Okay. we pr I practiced a little bit. So how did Wendy adhere the vellum? Um, I think she just used a little bit of glue. So... I don't know, because I kind of peeled it back to see what she did. Wendy, how did you put the vellum on? Let us know. What dye did you use for the label? This was the rainbow dyes. Okay, this is called Brilliant Rainbow Dyes, and it's the, one of the rainbow dyes. You could do a lot of things with these dyes without, I mean, the stamp set is adorable, but you don't have to have the stamp set. There's a lot of dyes in here that don't need any stamp set, so it's pretty cool. Black and Mango Melody Pops. They, yep, I, I know, and that's why I used it. Yeah, Wendy did use, she put the glue on just like I did with a sponge dauber. So you just add a little bit of glue to the back of your vellum, and it'll stick right on there. She also used a different dye, an edge dye. She used, what are those called? What are those edge dyes called? There's three of them. Border in a, dyes? The border dyes, is that what they're called? 
she used that to cut her vellum and I was gonna get that out too, but then I saw that there was an edge die in the dies that this one, there was this edge die was in there. At first I thought she tore it and that would look really cool too, you guys. But um, I use this die that's in with the tropical layers dies that goes with the artful, artfully layered bundle. So yeah, look at all these. Look at all these fun cards. Yay, this was so much fun tonight. I am so appreciative of you guys joining me. You know that I absolutely love stamping with you on Sunday nights. I'm going to show you the rest of my mail. And, oh, I have some more presents. Didn't I have more mail than this? I thought I had some more cards. I know I do. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to miss anything. Um, Here we go. Oh, I have a really cool fun fold. So this little card was from Priscilla for Baby Dawson. And Baby Dawson is doing really, really well, I might add. Look at how cute that is. Haley, isn't that? Haley and Jared are in the process of potty training Val. And last, last I heard today, she went through three pairs of underwear and was not having a real good day. <laughs> so this was from Priscilla. And then this one is from Connie. Piasecki, who was here this weekend helping me. Look at how cute that is. I love those little stack of onesies. And she got her one, she got onesies for Dawson too. So very, very cute. Love this card. So sweet. Then we have a card from Christine Hoover. Look at this. This is a drapery fold, a pleated, pleated card. And she's thanking me for the happy mail. Yay! Isn't that pretty? That beautiful daffodil. And look at how those butterflies sparkle on there. That is so pretty. And of course, she decorated her envelope too. So yay. Way to go, Christine. Then we have this adorable card. This comes to us from Anne English, I believe. Yep, Anne English. Yay. And look at how nice her handwriting is. Like that is like the per, it's so perfect. But look at how cute this is. This is for all of us. Congratulations on your growing family. This is so sweet. Slimline card. How cool is that? She made her envelope. Very, very, very pretty. And thank you so much. That was adorable. Then we have a card from Pam Olson. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Ah, I love these. I love these because they're pretty and they're easy to make. And this was a welcome back to reality card. Hope everything went well on the stairs. Hope you like my card. Pam, thank you so much. I love your card. And how sweet of you to welcome me back to reality, right? Okay. Uh, we have one more here. Congratulations. Oh, this was cute. So... Mary Benke sent this and she sent me money to buy something for Dawson. Is that just the sweetest thing, Mary? Thank you so much. You are adorable. Yeah, so this is a cute little bunny card welcoming Dawson. And then I think, oh, I got one more card here to share with you. This is from Cynthia Jacobson. Are you guys ready for this? First of all, we have a beautiful envelope. Ready? Oh my goodness, look at that. Cynthia, this is crazy. Isn't it pretty? Holy cow. And she's just sending me a card to say thank you for the inspiration, creativity, and fun. Cynthia, this is beautiful. Whoa, we might have to make this. What do you guys think? Who's in? Ah. Okay, and then I wanted to share. Connie brought Donkers from Marquette, Michigan. These are like chocolate-covered Oreo cookies. Well, they might, I don't know if they're, oh, maybe they're not. Yeah, I think they're Oreos. I haven't eaten any yet, but don't worry. I will. And then we got a couple caramels here. And she brought the state of Upper Michigan 
This is the UP Michigan. I don't know which way it goes. Maybe like that? I don't know. But anyways, I'm eating that. I got no issue eating it. But look at these. These are my favorite sea salt caramels. Oh, so good. Donkers, you guys. Donkers is a amazing chocolate store up in Marquette, Michigan. You can find them online, but they have the best, best, best candy. Okay, I think that we are done here for tonight. Thank you guys so much for joining me for Sunday night stamping. I so enjoy this time that we get to spend together and I am grateful to each and every one of you. If you have any questions, you're going to find everything on my blog. Please don't hesitate to email me at kelly at stampabove.com. If you need the new catalog that's coming out, I'll be happy to add you to my mailing selector for when that is going to be going out to everybody. And um, this is my current host code. If you place an order with me, which I always appreciate, you want to use this code if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, don't use this code. You're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. I also have an ordering special going on right now. You're going to find that on my blog. We've got um, some mystery grab bags that are going out for certain increments of orders. And I think you get a small mystery bag for $75 order and a larger mystery bag for a $100 order. But don't quote me on that because I forgot to check. And of course, I yeah, I did type that up and put that on my website. But I, you know I can't remember anything, right? So um, thank you again. Have yourselves a wonderful week. I will be back live again next Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central. Jackie Unger, you're on here. You won. Yay. You've got some fun mail coming and you're very welcome. Thank you guys so much for sharing all of this with me. I couldn't do this without you, right? Yeah. All right, you guys. If I missed one of your questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Pop me an email. That is the best way you're going to get a hold of me. Um, don't forget, I have sticky kits available and um, they can ship right away. When you, when you sign up for a sticky kit, I will then send you a PayPal invoice. And once you pay that, I ship it out right away. So you'll get your sticky kit. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And again, thank you so much. Good night.